Hi everyone and welcome to a showcase of my 172 World War II German armour. I have a lot of infantry as you probably seen on the blog but this is just a showcase of the armour and sport weapons that I have so far. So let's take a closer look. At the rear here we have three Stug 3s with their larger weapons. They're all interchangeable to shorter barrels. We have a Panzer 38T with the mod options that are magnetized. A Panzer 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Panzer 4s in total. Now again these are all magnetized so that I can adapt and change to different variants. We have two Panthers with another two Panthers in their ambush camouflage. Again magnetized. I'll show you more on that later. We have two SDK 253s, one of them with a Panzer 1 turret, again magnetized. That allows us to remove and make a variation. Over on the right you can see two Yag D Panthers which are the tank destroyers and then on to the half tracks these are 251Cs, a pioneer vehicle, a flamethrower, a mortar and this is a 25D um, Stummel, um, a 25D um, troop carrier, sorry 25C troop carrier and again another um, one two three two five one D troop carriers uh, a Tiger 1 uh, I've got another couple of Tigers on order at the moment um, so that is the armor there's a few additions to be made to this but this is the core army here we have the magnetized option so this Panzer 4 has the um, removable side armor and turret armor all magnetized as well as the main weapon which again I can swap out so I can make different variants of the Panzer IV as and when required. What I can also do with the magnets is as we'll see here with the Panther the Pan Panther which is the Panzer Mark V and the Panzer Mark IV. Again, just simple magnetized turret options. So we can interchange the Panther and put the Panzer IV turret on, which will then turn it into a Burgess Panther, which were seen as command tanks. Um, not so much seen is the Panzer IV with the Panther turret. Don't think it was actually seen in battle, although it was. Um, drawn up on paper this would allow them to obviously interchange units towards the end of the war as they were getting obviously the factories were getting bombed the Marder Panther uh, Panzer 38T option again magnetized so that we can make different options as and when required the beauty of these models is obviously magnetizing allows interchangeability um, with unit types and here we have the support weapons. We have a Flak 88, um, a, me a heavy mortar at the rear there from loaders, um, a Flak cannon, another Flak 88, obviously used as anti tank weapons as well, a heavy mortar fixed position. And moving across, we have one, two, three. Four pack 38 altogether, one of those with the captured French barrel. And they all have their um, extra loaders at the rear, but I'm only showing the one on this. Again, this is the air support that I talked about, and it's a Fock Wolf 190 with its um, distinct yellow markings. We have a Messerschmitt ME 109 again with its yellow markings and this was used to signify friend uh, during the Normandy campaign the ME 110 
which was a night fighter but was actually brought into um, effect for a daytime fighter as well very effective so that is the air support and that makes up the core of my World War II 172 German army although I have a lot of infantry figures some of which you can see on these still photos here and you may have seen these dotted around on my blog updates uh, in the past plans for the future to extend this will be a further two tigers um, a heavy mover a wasp or wasp um, a cougar wagon a king tiger obviously a quad flak a couple of armoured cars like Rad's armoured cars and possibly a communication version of that and some Panzer 3s and as I mentioned on an earlier video this will probably be just done in the German armoured ray so that I can um, show variations and the different ages of the vehicles and units throughout the entire army that I can put on the table <laughs>